Hey guys, it's Jack. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game, Paper Mario. And I believe this may be the last time we show off cooking on stream. I will probably come back here to cook for myself, but I think we've shown off all the recipes that I want to show off. The last few that we're going to show off are kind of weird items and they kind of got overlooked. Either they were overlooked or I actually don't remember if I did show these off. I suspect I might have, but uh, I figured why not just do them again just to be sure. First off, let's cook with a Volt Shroom. These are basically going to be low level items that you're never going to use this late in the game. Volt Shroom by itself turns into a Hot Shroom. Restores 15 HP and 5 FP. Not a bad little item. Not really good for me, but not a bad little item. Alright, let's show off cooking a dried shroom by itself. Now, I, I have two reasons to show this off. One is I'm not sure I've shown this item, and two, this is another recipe that results in a mistake unless you've given her the cookbook. If you give her the cookbook, then you can cook a dried shroom by itself and you get a much better item. You get the fried shroom. 6 HP and 2 FP. A massive upgrade from a dried shroom. But only if you've given her the cookbook. Otherwise it results in a mistake. Alright, uh, what else did I want to show off? I believe I wanted to show off... Cooking with dried pasta. Nope, just the pasta. I'm pretty sure I've done this one, but again, if I have, it's been so long ago, I don't remember whether I actually did or not, or just thought I did. So I'm playing it safe. Cook pasta by itself, of course you end up with spaghetti. Restore 6 HP and 4 FP. Okay. I want you to cook next with... A fire flower. Just by itself. Nope, just the fire flower. Yep. And you do that. You cook something just for me, something fabulous. Tra la 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 la. And you get. Spicy soup. Restores 4 HP and 4 FP. I'm kind of curious if the fact that it's 4 and 4 is supposed to be like. I don't know, a reference to death? Because four is an unlucky number in Asian cultures? I don't know. Uh, and finally, for cooking items by themselves, uh, well, that I haven't shown off, the humble egg. Just an egg. No, make with one. This is, uh... That was an interesting menu. I looked away for a minute, so I don't know how I pulled up that menu. Weird. I may have hit B or something? I was looking to the side because my cat was getting on the couch and I didn't pay attention to the screen. Alright, cooking an egg by itself. You get the fried egg. Restores 10 HP. Now. This next series of recipes will result in one item we haven't shown off and several that we have. But it takes the humble ingredients and it makes an outstanding item by the end. This is how you can make a deluxe feast for five coins. Go to Dry Dry Outpost, buy a dried shroom for two coins and a mushroom for three coins. Now, if I cook a dried fruit, making sure I remember this properly, I want to cook a dried fruit and a mushroom. Yes, cook with dried fruit and mushroom. Now, we've shown this off before. What we get from this recipe is a volt shroom. If we cook the Volt Shroom... Let's cook the Volt Shroom... 
And let's cook that with a Koopa Leaf, and this will give us an item we haven't cooked before. Yes, cook with a Voltshroom and a Koopa Leaf. Now, if you cook a Voltshroom with a Koopa Leaf or a Goom Nut or something like that, you'll get the same recipe. Uh, this is a way for to keep those low-level ingredients still relevant. You can livestream this way! So, you know, like, a really good item. You don't have to go buy life shrooms for 40 or 50 coins. You can make them very cheaply if you want to go farm dry, dried fruit. If you don't even want to do that, you can make them from volt shrooms. But, uh, let's take that life shroom. And let's cook it with a dried shroom. Yes, cook with a life shroom and a dried shroom. Cha la 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 la. With these ingredients combined, we get shroom steak. Cooks th restores 30 HP and 10 FP. Actually, kind of a really cool use for dried shroom. Now, we do need to cook one ingredient by itself to finish this off. We need to cook the iced potato. And we're going to make potato salad out of it. And this recipe we have shown off. This is how you can make a deluxe feast. The deluxe feast obviously restores a lot more than the ingredients that we put into it. But it makes a lot of money. You can sell a deluxe feast for 70 coins. And considering we bought these ingredients for 5 coins, that's a massive return on your investment if you put in the time and energy to gathering these ingredients and you don't want to cheat in the gambling casino. And there you go! That's how you can get a deluxe feast for five coins. Now, I will probably come back to cook more restoratives for myself, but I believe that's the last time we're going to go to taste tea. The only ingredients, or the only recipes that I can think of left use ingredients that result in the same recipes we've already seen. They're just a different way to cook it. And then also the different tiers of combining a mushroom and a syrup or a jelly. I'm not going to show those off. They all do essentially the same thing. They take a mushroom and they, with the healing power of a mushroom and they combine it with the restorative power of a jelly. Or a syrup. So if you take a mushroom and you combine it with a jam and jelly, you'll get an item that restores 5 HP and 50 FP, but why would you want that? That's a kind of a waste. We, you could also like make a super shroom and a jelly, or a super shroom and a maple syrup, or an ultra shroom and a honey syrup, but they all do the same thing. And there's no point in wasting really good ingredients just to show that off. Mario, can you hear me? I'm going to open the entrance to Star Way. Enter this path without fear. The Star Way continues all the way up here to Star Haven. We seven star spirits will be waiting for you here. We wish to give you our remaining power. With this power, you will be able to stand up to the star rod Bowser holds. So yeah, don't expect me to show those off at all. We're basically done. We anxiously await you. Mario, make haste to Star Haven. Alright, before we go up there, I do want to show off that I have taken off Bump Attack. Uh, in its place... I've, oh, I've also taken off one of my power pluses. So with that, I put on Mega Jump, I put on Power Quake, I put on Lucky Day, uh, Last Stand. Um, I'm still going to keep Zap Tap, I think. That may go away. Fire Shield will definitely go away, but it's going to be useful for the next area we're about to go into, so I'll put it on for now. But that leaves about two to six star points that I may flex between badges to show off different things. Ah, Starway. This place honestly is really pretty. And, you know, 
I don't think I've ever, I haven't seen this without it being emulated in a while, so it's not flashing weird things at me. Alright, first strike! Yep, these are fire enemies. Didn't I bring out Gumbario? Am I insane? But yeah, these are fire enemies, that's why I put on uh, the fire shield badge. I could probably put on the ice power badge. But I don't think it's necessary. And as you can see, these are not giving me star points. Which actually kind of surprises me a little bit. This is an ember. Embers are fiery, mon fiery monsters forged from uncanny blue fire. Max HP 10, attack power 4, defense power 0. They may look frosty, but they're actually on fire, so fire attacks won't work. They divide themselves when they're attacked. Keep attacking them though, you'll get them eventually. They'll probably fight back. Their attacks usually deal out three damage points. Water attacks will work well. Let's meet them before they get a chance to burn us. So, like I was talking about, this is why I'm not... Ooh, you got roasted. This is why I'm not... Um, wearing the bump attack badge, because I would have just destroyed these. And that's not fun to watch. If I get to Bowser's Castle and I'm still not getting experience points, then I may end up going back and getting that last Amazing Daisy just to make sure that we get up to max level. And as you can see, Lucky Day is a really good badge. It doesn't always work, but it works more frequently and at higher HP levels than the alternatives. So it is worth it to go through that trading sequence to get this badge. All right, increases the amount of coins because we've been hurting for money, but I like collecting it. No, come back. Got it. <sighs> but this is actually a pretty straightforward area. You're only going to be fighting embers, if I remember correctly, and there's no branching paths. There's no hidden areas. There's just you and the stars. Um, yeah, we'll multi-bounce. It does occur to me that I'm probably going to want to change to somebody fireproof. Um, hmm. Bombat, come on out. And why don't you mega bomb? 100% power! Everything dies. I mean... We've got the FP. Ooh, and he got the shooting star. Why not enjoy it? I said I was going to fight them. I didn't say I wasn't just going to raffle stomp them. Okay. Um, hmm. I don't want to do this. I got that shooting star. Oh, that reminds me. I need to pull out the electro pot from storage. Now... I still haven't tested, obviously, if it electrifies you, but I did not, did not, wow, okay, that's an example of him dividing then. Uh, I did notice that it sells for double the rest of the uh, the uh, things like the Cocoa Pop or the Fire Pop. So I suspect it does have an additional effect or is intended to. <laughs> I like that Bombat blows up if she's on fire. That's a cool touch. I'm glad I get to show that off. She can't double my star points because there are no star points. I did refresh my spell before I ever came up here. I did that a little while ago, so we've got a fresh spell. And three fights in, and we're at the top. Really a short dungeon. If you can even call it that. Good afternoon. Oh, good, e good evening, maybe. In Starhaven, you can see stars all the time. There used to be a lot more shooting stars, but that was before the star rod was taken. The beauty of this place was incredible back then. I, I don't know, it's still pretty pretty. The I English good. When I first heard that all the star spirits were captured and the star rod stolen, I lost it. I figured this is it. This is the end of the world. But now all the star spirits have safely returned. It just goes to show you that you never give up hope, even though you did. You need to have more faith in me. I am Mario. Hello. 
When the news first hit that the star spirits had been taken away from me, taken away, a friend of mine was so shocked that he got sick. His shining light faded way down to a mere flicker. Since the star spirits have come back, he's regaining a healthy glow. You're a lightsaber. Uh, I don't know what I'm more upset about. The fact that I missed, I missed that pun or the fact that I called it lightsaber. Oh. Uh, not only was it a bad pun, I didn't even read it properly. Alright, what's up here? Uh, I'm guessing this is... Oh no, I thought it was a toad house. It gives me great joy to hear of the star spirit's return. Our only wish now is for the return of the star rod. It seems so odd, a star making a wish. It does. I love the doors. The doors are so cool. I love that they're animated. This place, this game has a lot of surprising detail. You can tell it's made with a lot of love. All right, what do we got here? Oh, life shrooms are super cheap up here. Wow. I'm actually gonna buy one. Actually, buy two. I'll probably find a use for it. Uh, I'm guessing the, the logic is that you can make a lot of this, so... And it's a late game shop, so, you know. Oh, I'm stuffed. Uh, so basically, why have powerful items be super expensive still? Because you can probably make them. The precious star spirits have returned. Oh, happy day. It's all because of you. I guess we'll all wish upon a Mario from now on. Every star owes you, Mario. That's right. You wish upon me. I will solve all your problems. This is the Toad House. Yeah, let's take a rest. Restore my FP. Yep, I did sleep well. It was very comfortable. Much better than uh, the bed on Yoshi's Island. Or, I'm sorry, Lava Lava Island. Like, nobody just doesn't call it Yoshi's Island. Hey, I recognize this from the prologue. I'm going to crash the party. I'm going to steal the star rod. Oh, it's gone. All right, let's see how many of these voices I remember. <clears throat> Mario, you finally made it. The time has come to take the fight to Bowser's turf. Now, hold still while we seven join together to bestow upon you our final power. Mario can now use Star Beam. If you use this power, you can drain the power of the Star Rod whenever Bowser uses it. Ah yes, and one more thing. I have one final gift for which should come in handy. This is the legendary starship of Star Haven. Bowser is keeping his castle way up in the sky. With this ship, however, you can reach it. Climb aboard, onwards to Bowser's castle. We will always be with you. Whenever you are in need, use our powers to help you. Alright, only needed to remember his voice. Are you ready to take off? Yes. some very cool music. Kind of a dark Starman remix. Look! A shooting star! Princess, come back! Princess, come back! Princess, come back! Did you wish for something? I hope your dreams come true! Me too! I want to see the princess. I want to see the princess. I want to see the princess. Shrimp cake! I want to eat shrimp cake! I want to eat tons and tons of shrimp cake! Oh, shooting star! Please fulfill my wishes! Pretty please! Well, we'll work on that one. Let's 
finally time to begin the assault. Chapter 8 A Star Powered Showdown I love the fact that there are spare clown cars here. Kind of the clown car harbor. Uh, Bowser's castle. Oh, I thought I went to the side. I'm bad at this. Bowser's castle is actually kind of a really cool dungeon. It's got a lot of interesting things going on. It's got some nice puzzles. I can't remember how to get in. Oh, there's something over there. We can't get to, but I want it very badly. Let's try around here. Obviously, we're not going to assault the front door. Ah, uh, oh, I didn't think it was going to come this far. Good for me. Good job, Jag. Change members. Who are these guys? Although, actually, I don't know why I'm changing members. We fought them before. I forgot. And shy guys, toy box. Specifically, I asked for these guys. And right, they're spiky. Uh, this this started out great. Cooper, come on out. Um, yeah, we'll power shell. And I need to put on spike shield, pretty badly. Lucky. Oh, not lucky. All right. Let's go ahead and end this battle so I, got, so I can put on Spike Shield. That way I can go back to using my jumps because I kind of feel a little bit crippled without them. Especially with as high defense as those guys can have. And they're not giving me star points either. Uh oh. I don't think anything is going to give me star points now. We're going to go a little bit further before I panic. But uh, yeah, I might have to go do that amazing daisy to get my last level. Uh, badges. Active badges. Take off fire shield. Put on... That's the wrong button. Uh, spike shield. Spike shield is down here. I wish there was a way to filter out badges that you didn't have the badge points available for. That's kind of a miss, I think. Oh, everyone's locked up. Huh. Sucks to be them. Well, we got the key so we can get in the castle at least. That's the important thing. We can rescue them later after we take out Bowser. But first, I think we can actually get... Maybe... Nope. Okay. Okay. We, there might be another way to get to that lava moat, but for now, it's time to head in the front door. And I think we're going to call it an episode there, guys. Next time, we'll assault Bowser's castle in earnest. We got a long ways to go before we can make our way to the princess and the final showdown. I'll see you guys then. Y'all have a great day. Later.